Hi guys, Jack from FBT Audio UK, and today we're looking at the Virtus CS1000 system from FBT. Now the 1000 in CS1000 relates to the 1000 watt RMS amplifier that is built into the back of the subwoofer itself. Now on this as well, we have a new DSP section, which features eight different DSP presets for you to choose from, as well as sub leveling on the back also. So let's take a look at the system and how it sets up. In the back of the system, we have a little storage compartment, which houses this bag, which contains your cables and also your pole kit. Now the pole kit contains a link rod, which is here. So if you're using this on the normal floor, you know, the same level as your audience, you'd use this first and then you then screw the telescopic pole on top. If you were to use this on, say, a stage, say the same height we are now, we'd use the telescopic pole on its own. Now, just to show you this telescopic pole, you undo the knob at the back and you can simply slide the inside section out to give you quite a nice bit of height. But for today, for the purpose we're using it for, let's just show you on the system. So the pole simply slots in and screws into the sub here. And as you can see, you can undo it once again, turn this round so the array is facing forward. You grab your array column and using the three pins at the back, it locates onto this lovely bracket here with a nice satisfying click. There it is. That's your CS1000 system set up. Now all you need to do is connect the sub to the top using the Speedcon cable provided. And the Speedcon outlet can be found inside the cable compartment at the back of the sub that we'll show you in just a few moments. So let's take a look at the back of the CS1000. Over here you have your power input, which is on IEC, and also a nice on-off switch there. Over here we have our XLR input and output for your audio. We also have your volume control. Zero dB on this model is straight up. We also have sub-leveling control, so you can turn the sub up and down to suit your venue. It goes from minus six dB to plus three dB. Over here we have your DSP selection. We have eight different DSP presets to choose from, which is number one, original, number two is live, number three is vocal, number four is loudness, number five is DJ, number six is DJ boost, number seven is monitor, and number eight is wall. We also have a mic line selector switch here, so if you'd like to plug a microphone directly into the system, you can do that and amplify that just a little bit further. Else, if you are using a mixer or a DJ controller, leave it set to line mode. We also have an array button over here, and what this allows you to do is when you're flying two tops together and putting them high up in the air, you use this, it gives a little bit of EQ just to give it a little bit more of a push onto the array section. Also hidden up here, Inside the cable compartment and obviously where your CS1000 column stores is the Speedcon output. This Speedcon output is used via a Speedcon cable which runs up to the array and powers it from this amplifier in the CS1000 sub. There is also a range of optional accessories for the CS1000 system. This includes a protective cover which simply slots over the top of the system protecting all of the system and its components. We also make a VTW1000 which is a wall mount bracket specifically designed for the column arrays. We also make a VTF-1000, which is a flying bracket, so you can fly these columns together from, say, a piece of truss. We also have a VTJ-1000. Now, all of the accessories are available in black and white on order. You just need to let us know which one you prefer. So we're gonna show you the VTJ-1000. As you may have seen on the back of this CS-1000 column array, there is another bracket at the top. This is for the VTJ1000, which simply slots into place and clicks down with a satisfying click to ensure that it's locked into place and isn't going anywhere. We then take our second column array. We turn it upside down to stop any phasing between the drivers and simply lock it into place like so. Now in ground stack use, we tend to recommend keeping the column arrays in a straight configuration, but when flying, you can use this pin here, which allows you to angle the CS1000 columns apart, so when you're flying, you can get a nice array system. The other thing we should mention as well, when doing this in a ground stack configuration, the CS1000 sub has been especially milled out in the four corners for the feet of the next CS1000 sub to go on top. So you simply take one sub, put it on top, locate it in the holes, and that's it, ready to go.